What's up growers, Eric here with LED Grow Lights Depot. In this review, I'll be giving you an in-depth look at the new AC Infinity Ion Frame Evo 8 LED Grow Light released May 2023. Stay tuned for the full review and my final thoughts on this fixture. I'll tell you what AC Infinity got right on this light and what important specification information is missing. Smash that like button and let's go. Ion Frame Commercial Series is the third LED Grow Light series by AC Infinity. The first two include the Ion Board and Ion Grid. This newest series is definitely their best yet and includes the Evo 3, Evo 4, Evo 6, Evo 8, and Evo 10. I always get excited unboxing an AC Infinity product. It's like opening a new Apple product. Everything is beautifully packaged and of great quality. Like most AC Infinity products, there's an array of helpful accessories that are included with each ion frame light. This low profile folding fixture features an anodized matte black finish frame and dark gray heat sinks. Also included is a driver and a controller. The elongated black Sosin brand driver includes a UIS control port which can be wall mounted or fixture mounted using the reversible driver attachment plates. A 10 foot driver extension cable is also included and allows you to mount the driver outside of the grow space. Controller 77 is a small magnetic lighting controller that can be stuck on the fixture or outside the grow space, like on the controller plate on an AC Infinity tent. Controller 77 allows scheduling, dimming to 10 different brightness levels, and sunrise and sunset functionality. Instead of using the Controller 77, you can hook up the Ion Frame series to the more powerful Controller 69 Pro, which provides control of your lighting, circulation, ventilation, humidity, and or temperature in your grow space. Controller 69 Pro is controllable via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and is sold separately for $99. The Ion Frame series is daisy chainable up to 16 lights per controller port when using the daisy chain adapter, sold separately. You might have already noticed that the diodes are algorithmically spaced, which means that there's a higher concentration of the diodes at the ends of the bars to help distribute the light more evenly across the intended footprint. I've seen a few other brands use a similar diode layout and I think it's quite smart. This fixture contains 2,688 diodes, which includes 1,720 Samsung LM301H EVO 3000K diodes, 864 Samsung LM301H EVO 5000K diodes, 96 Osram 660 nanometer deep red diodes, and 8 Sol 395 nanometer UV diodes. There are not any far red diodes in the EVO 8 or EVO 10 fixtures, and I'm not sure why AC Infinity chose not to include these in the larger models. The LM301H EVO diodes are the latest, most efficient offering from Samsung. More companies are starting to include these in their fixtures because they're extremely efficient. They contain a plant-centric spectrum, meaning a shorter wavelength compared to a standard horticultural white LED, and promote better growth, which includes larger leaves and higher nutrient content. The eight UV diodes contribute little UV to the spectrum and make less than a tiny dent for any increases in trichome production. Therefore, I recommend to those growers who want a healthy amount of UV for increasing secondary metabolites to use the AC Infinity Ion Beam U2 or U4 UV bars. These are magnetic and will attach directly to the fixture frame. The full spectrum will bring your plants from seed to harvest. All you need to do is adjust the intensity level of the fixture and the timing between veg and flower. Also, note that AC Infinity's published spectrum on the EVO 8 is really the EVO 4 spectrum with the added far red. So this little bump that you see in the far red part of the spectrum should be flattened out since the extra far red is not really there in this fixture. But note that the full spectrum white diodes provide a little bit of far red. The EVO 8 is listed at drawing 730 watts from the wall. When I measured the water's draw at 114 volts, I received a reading of 748 watts and amperage of 6.51. The light can be used in up to 277 volt applications and comes with a NEMA 515P plug, which is your standard 120 volt style plug. For 240 volt applications, you'll need to buy a plug adapter. The heat output of the fixture is 2490 BTU per hour and is IP65 wet rated. All AC Infinity products are warrantied at two years. Unfortunately, at this time, AC Infinity doesn't list the actual light output or par efficacy of this fixture or any fixture in the EVO series. The only light output related number that they state is the PPFD as 1480, 
but all this is is the highest par value in the center of the par map at 12 inches, which is useless information in many cases. Similarly, they only publish the efficiency of the most efficient diode, the LM301H EVO at 3.14. This is not the par efficacy of the entire fixture, but of only a single LM301H diode. Again, pretty useless information. So I'd like to know the total light output or par efficacy of this fixture. And if we had these two numbers, we could actually calculate the other number by using the wattage. Given the high efficacy of the LM301H diode and Osram 660 nanometer red, I would put the total efficacy of this fixture somewhere between 2.8 and 3.1 micromoles per joule. Assuming this, I can use the wattage draw to figure out the total light output of this fixture, which would be somewhere between 2044 and 2263 micromoles per second. I realize this is quite a range of over 200 ppf, but it kind of proves that it's strong enough to flower a 4x4 or up to a 5x5 area. So AC Infinity, please publish the ppf and ppe of this fixture. I don't believe that AC Infinity has anything to hide. They just didn't measure or publish these specifications. AC Infinity recommends using this light in a 5x5 space, but you can really fill out a 4x4 with this light. The fixture's dimensions are about 44 inches by 44 and a half inches, so a 4x4 would be the smallest space that I would use this light in, and a 5x5 area is the maximum intended footprint. In general, I think AC Infinity slightly overstates their coverage areas. Their coverage area suggestions are ideal for the average home grower or beginner, but for the more experienced growers, I recommend moving most of their coverage area suggestions down by 6 to 12 inches. So in this case, the 5x5 recommended flower coverage should be a 4x4 to 4.5x4.5 foot area. AC Infinity published PAR maps for the EVO series. Again, the recommended coverage is 5x5, but notice that they tested the light in a 4x5 area. It's not clear whether they tested the light in a reflective area or open space, but my best guess is that they were tested in an AC Infinity grow tent, which are of course reflective. I calculated the average par of each of the listed heights. Expect an average PPFD of 912 at 12 inches in a 4x5 area, 871 PPFD at 14 inches, and 830 PPFD at 18 inches. I tested this fixture in a 4x4 grow tent, and my readings appeared a bit higher than theirs, or at least the uniformity was a little bit better. And this is probably because I tested mine in a 4x4 and they tested theirs in a 4x5 area. Let's take a quick look at these PAR readings to get a better idea of the uniformity and PAR values in a 4x4 grow tent. Okay, the first reading's at 36 inches, so right in the center it was just over 900. Moving to the back, about 800. This corner, about 755. And this other side, right around 760. Moving back to the center. And just gonna move it around a little bit and you'll see how that uniformity changes. So at 36 inches, we are actually seeing the best uniformity. However, the lowest average par values. All right, next reading is at 24 inches, about 1085 in the center. Moving back, about 925. Corners looking like 860 plus, and about 900 on this other edge here. So at 24 inches, you can see we're hitting above 1,000 in many places. So pretty good PPFD overall. Um, I would recommend hanging this light at 24 inches or closer based off the par values that we're seeing here. All right, and just gonna move it back towards the center. All right, next reading, 18 inches. About 1180 plus in the center. Moving to the back, over a thousand corners and then this other edge here about 970 so really good readings here again this is at 18 inches and just for reference this these boxes here uh, this darkest orange one is two feet the next one is three feet and then the last one is four feet So 
so over a thousand PPFD pretty much everywhere in the tent. And last reading, 12 inches, 1300 in the center. And then towards the back at 1122, corners, just under a thousand, about 970 something, and 1070 on this other edge. So a lot higher readings here. Um, uniformity is quite a bit less, but still almost a thousand PPFD everywhere in the tent. Again, this is 12 inches. This two foot box looks like we're hitting 1300 PPFD all over the place. And this three foot box just uh, under that. All right, just gonna go a little bit longer here. And that wraps it up. In summary, I really enjoyed this light, as I do with pretty much all AC Infinity products. Besides just being pleasant to the eye, the AC Infinity Ion Frame Evo series is the next step in the evolution of the AC Infinity brand and UIS ecosystem. This series is AC Infinity's response to a bar light, and I think they strongly delivered here. At only $7.99, this light is fairly priced, as are all the lights in this series compared to similar fixtures. I just hope that in the near future, AC Infinity publishes the PPF, which is a light output, and PPE, which is the par efficacy of this fixture, and increases the warranty to three or five years, like most other commercial LED grow lights. But at least we have some average par values that we can work with, and I know that AC Infinity backs their products, so that two-year warranty isn't so bad. AC Infinity should also clean up some of their marketing. For example, they should publish the correct spectrums for lights that don't have the far red diodes, and they should also test the light in a 4x4 or 5x5 area if they say that the intended footprint is say 4x4 or 5x5 instead of testing it in a 4x5 area. But I can look past these issues because I know AC Infinity is delivering a high quality product and I trust them like tens of thousands of other growers. So overall, I highly recommend the Evo 8. So the link is in the description to purchase this fixture or the kit. That's right, this light also comes in an AC Infinity Grow Tent kit for only $1,499. So support this channel by liking this video and subscribing for more LED grow light related content. See you later.